Oh, shit. The machine must have overloaded. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Oh, great. I killed him. The crystal's still warm. Is this thing? Mouse sensitivity is still too high. Good grief. I've never seen equipment like this before. Jesus. Looks like some sort of generator for the machinery in this room. Okay. okay. This tunnel feels like it's going to collapse at any moment. Too hot to touch. I think it's being used as a power source for the machine. What is this? This is weird. Odd. It looks like it's full of mercury. Mercury. That stuff will kill you. This room? What the hell is that? Like a door of some sort. There's no power. Okay, well, we gotta give it power. We, whoa, hello? The mouse is touchy. It's like sometimes it'll drag, sometimes really, really fast. Got mine of its own. It's a similar shape to the slot upstairs. There we go. Alright, let's go power this puppy up. Ah, uh, I didn't catch it. Wait a second. 6 February 1922. What? It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. Ooh. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. Mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. Which floor? When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. Uh -huh. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed.
The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Huh. Return to normal life has been a painful process. Why in recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told no one else. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Uh, did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. Oh yeah, he's really looking for that package. Oh, he threw it in the trash. <laughs> a dollar. Paid him a whole dollar. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Uh, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? <laughs> I never heard of it. I didn't know we had national grocery stores. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this. Uh, what the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. <laughs> Hmm. All right, a new client. Night. I have a new client. Burnham is looking like the prime suspect for the robbery. After making a brief visit to Innsmouth, my client... A visit to an old town. Though so it's the next day. Driver, how far did the stop? It's almost there. I'll drop you at the town square of Innsmouth. Why lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. We don't want those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after her own. Alright, This is it, stranger. End of the line. End of the line. End of the line. Okay. And give me control of my mouse. Oh, hello. Who are you? Could you direct me to the First National Grocery Store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, fellow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Chit-chatting to him's gonna get me no place fast. Why is he pushing on me? He's pushing by the mouse. The mouse is wigging out again. Now it's slow again. Wow. Close the mouse. It won't open.
It won't budge. Stop your snooping. And there's for hotel staff only. Ooh, hotel staff only, huh? Okay. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> uh huh. So talking to this fellow's getting me nowhere, and he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. Uh huh. Oh, a key. Hello again. Yeah. I'm after directions to the first national grocery store. And I'm busy. I'm busy. So stop your pestering me with questions. Mm hmm. That fellow was just stringing me along with a lot of nothing about nothing. Uh-huh, a lot of nothing about nothing. An old grandfather clock. Uh-huh, looks familiar. Mouse is wigging out again. Now it's back to normal. Good grief. What is up with the mouse? It won't open. Now it's slow again. Okay. It won't budge. A dusty assortment of old books. Dusty assortment of old books. Nothing, Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. It's locked. Huh, I bet that's what the key goes to. If it won't budge, you just can't go in there. But if it's uh, locked... It won't open. Then the uh, key can open it. Okay, hmm. Oh, uh -huh. Wow. Slow down, mouse. On the other side. Nope, nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Oh. A dusty assortment of old books. A small wooden clock. Uh huh. Oh, look at here. Save point. Love it. We'll have to remember that. Okay. Walk around town, I guess. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. Huh. It won't budge. Mouse, stop it. Poorhouse. The sign says, Innsmouth Poorhouse, in memory of Lady Warren's. It's locked. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked. I can't be seen talking to you. Uh huh. Who's this guy? Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't rightly say as I know him. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked Can't in say I know what you're saying, stranger. This statue commemorates the men who fought in the Revolutionary War. Huh. Ann Smith to her sons who died for liberty. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. I can't be seen talking to you. Hmm. It won't open. That way is blocked by a police line. It's locked. It's locked. It must lead to the back of the variety store. Huh? Back of the variety store. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? It. Just turn around and leave. Oh, that's friendly. It won't budge. It won't budge. It won't budge. It won't open. Hmm. A lot of very, um, broken doors. Seems this grandiose structure is the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Ooh. Esoteric Order of Dagon. It won't open. Oh, it won't budge. 
Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in I never heard of no Burnham! Wild cherry tonic. These posters are everywhere. Dark alley. Hey, Mr. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. It's getting late, outsider. Folks just know what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by now. Uh huh. Well, at least he was nice enough to give me some information. It won't budge. It won't open. I don't know what we're looking for. I need that door. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Just leave me be, stranger. Okay. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't say as I noticed what you're saying, stranger. The haberdashery is closed. Haberdashery. It says open. Oh. A basement down there. Oh, hello. Do I know you? Evening. Hey, you know. Uh, Do you the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss... Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, Miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. Very well, Mr. Walters. Uh-huh. Okay. This doll seems more open than some folks around these parts, but she isn't going to talk to me right now. Ah, so that means I'll have to come back to her later? I don't know. A storage depot. It's shut. Refinery. It won't budge. Won't budge. It won't open. Hmm. I can't open the doors to the cabin. Interesting. I'm trying to see if I can jump in there and jump up there and jump over. It won't budge. Mouse. That bridge spans the Minuxet River. There's a bridge there. Mouse won't cooperate. Dangerous bridge. Broad Street. Kicking all the doors. It won't budge. A gas station. It won't open. The mouse just cannot make up its mind. Nothing of interest. Time to slow. This car has seen better days. Parked in a bad neighborhood. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked You're in the wrong place asking the wrong questions outside. It won't open. This town's.